Ali doesn't know this yet, but I recently bought her a new M1 MacBook Pro laptop to replace her desktop PC. It has arrived and Ali's gonna be here uh, any minute now and then we can surprise her with her new MacBook Pro. Hey guys, hi Amelia. Hey, hi Daddy. Say hello. Good job. I could use your help with something. Okay. I'm just testing with this lens. Um, I just got some new skateboarding uh, stuff in the box. Amelia, can you help mommy open the box? Okay. Yes. You got yourself a MacBook? No. You got me a MacBook? I did. Are you joking? That's yours, your new one. Oh my. You think that's pretty cool? Yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye. So I've been using the MacBook for about a month now. I'm not a super techie person. I don't care a ton about like the specs and the numbers. I care about is it convenient? Is it easy to use? Is it intuitive? Does it make my life better? I'm gonna tell you how my experience has been as a video editor who uses heavier programs like Premiere Pro, Illustrator, Photoshop, sometimes all at the same time. As you're watching this video, if you have any questions about this MacBook, let me know in the comments below. For the past few years, I've been working with a PC. Yeah, PC gets the job done, but I hate them, I hate them. Well, the Windows 10 operating system is really customizable. It also comes with a ton of bugs and super annoying issues that I will vent about in another video. So even though I hate my PC, I assumed that I'd still be using it as my main desktop computer because up until owning this new MacBook, I always thought of laptops as a backup or if you were traveling or something like that. But with this MacBook, that is not the case at all. I haven't even used my PC since owning this thing because my MacBook is just so much better. One of the many things that I love about this MacBook is that you can plug a monitor into it close the laptop and still work on it just like you would an actual desktop. Which is nuts to me because it's a little 14 inch MacBook. So this laptop looks great, the keyboard feels really nice and the trackpad feels great. The colors are really rich and nice, which has been awesome when I pull up clips on my laptop to show clients just for quick playback. Another amazing thing about this MacBook, and I don't know if a lot of people know this, is that Apple made the Thunderbolt ports to be the same as USB-C. So the three Thunderbolt 4 ports are essentially just USB-C ports also, which means I can plug a ton more into this MacBook without needing an adapter. I have an SD card reader slot, which I use all the time. And I love that it has an HDMI port. And I just got the Bluetooth keyboard and mouse. There's some things I don't love about them. If you want me to do a review video, let me know in the comments below. So this is a 14 inch MacBook. I love that it easily fits into my camera bags. I like convenience and portability and this 14 inch is that for me. But if you think having a bit of a bigger screen will matter to you, then go with the 16 inch. The battery on this thing lasts super long. I feel like I edited and worked off of it for like three days before I even plugged it in. Oh, also, the speakers are really impressive. The audio sounds really good and it actually goes pretty loud if you put the volume up all the way. And that was something I wasn't expecting because I just figured that laptop speakers are gonna suck. So that was a pleasant surprise. One thing that really has blown me away is I can export a big project in Media Encoder and then also still work in Premiere on a different video project. And so far I haven't had any issues with Premiere freezing or my computer like wanting to shut down or overheating or anything like that, which has been really, really nice and makes video editing way more efficient. On my MacBook, I've been editing off of a portable hard drive. So I did notice when I was working on a project in Premiere and I put playback to double the speed, the audio would continue playing, the video would just stop and freeze and then the circle of death thingy would come up press space bar a hundred times. So Will suggested that I plug in my laptop. When I did that, it solved the problem. I guess that means that the portable hard drive was sucking up too much power from the battery and the computer and it wasn't optimizing playback. All in all, my first impressions of this MacBook are that it's truly amazing. It's really, really impressed me. Things don't just 
glitch randomly or get buggy or weird with Mac the way that they do with PC. So it has been so nice and just makes me more productive and efficient as an editor that's also super portable and easy to bring anywhere I need to go. So there you go. If you create content, then check out our over 100 plus other videos on our channel. We release weekly-ish videos all about filmmaking as well as gear reviews. If you're into that sort of thing, subscribe and we'll see you in another video. Amelia. Oh my God. Amelia, I'm mommy, like shaking. Mommy got a new laptop. I, oh my goodness. No, we're not letting you. Can there you go, it? yeah, you can open, that's yours. This is the new uh, M1 MacBook Pro. Did you so white. I'm in shock. Enjoy your new laptop. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.